what is going on guys welcome to your very first lesson in physics now for those of you guys who don't know me my name is Bucky Roberts and evidently I'm gonna be teaching you guys some physics today so before I begin I want to mention a few things the first thing is at any time during this tutorial series if you guys have any questions about topics that you want me to cover or just questions about physics in general or maybe you even want me to go over a specific problem then please don't ask me in the comment section below because the videos are too scattered around and it's difficult to look through all the comments so if you guys have any questions then please ask me on my forum the link is below every video so go ahead and click that if you have any questions so now that I gave you guys my nice little introduction let's go ahead and jump right into physics so basically what the heck is physics well the formal definition is the branch of science that deals with matter energy motion and force now for this tutorial I'm gonna be focusing mainly on motion basically things moving around now whenever we talk about motion we need to cover one quick definition first and that's the definition of speed what is speed well for those of you who are uh, addicted to drugs out there you know that speed is indeed a drug but that's not the kind of speed we're talking about we're talking about the speed that's defined as distance over time and yes you guys are just gonna have to deal with my handwriting so speed is basically the distance traveled over the time travel basically the rate at which an object moves or as simple as I can put it how fast is something going that's what we want to try to figure out that's the very first core concept that I'm going to be teaching you guys in physics so whenever we need to solve problems dealing with speed we like to use variables now we use the variable s for speed we use d for distance and can you guys guess what we use for time yep t for time so with these three variables we like to plug these into different equations whenever we're trying to calculate the average speed so we're saying okay so the average speed is basically the distance traveled over the time travel simple enough so let's go ahead and take a look at an example so say we have a problem that let's say we want to find the average speed of I don't know a car or something so we say that let me just think of something here say that we drove 48 miles and it took us four hours to drive well what information do we have already the 48 miles is of course the distance so we'll set that equal to d and the four hours is the time now if you remember the formula for average speed I'll just write average speed equals the distance over time so we're trying to solve for speed and we already got 48 which is the distance over four hours and I guess I might as well plug in my uh, miles and hours so the average speed of this car I think I said car didn't I would be 48 divided by 4 which is indeed can you guys guess 12 miles per hour so that is how you calculate average speed basically take whatever distance you have and throw it over whatever time frame you have and remember whatever terminology you're using in distance miles put that per time now typically in physics we don't deal with miles or hours we typically deal with meters and seconds but for this example it's just a real quick example and another thing that I want to mention before I let you guys go in this video is I know I said speed is what we're trying to figure out but in physics we more commonly use a letter V now V stands for velocity and to be completely honest velocity and speed are similar but they are a little bit different and I'll talk about that later whenever I talk about scalar and vector quantities but just remember this for the upcoming tutorials I'm gonna use the letter V which stands for velocity instead of S which stands for speed right now just think of them as the as the exact same thing although I'll cover their differences later on so anyways for this tutorial that's all you guys get hopefully you guys understand how to calculate average speed now again average speed equals distance over time so 
Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.